everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see in the title below, I am going to give you top 10 Korea travel tips. So if you want to know how I survived traveling alone in Korea twice, just keep on watching and make sure you subscribe. Click the like button and the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever I have a new vlog up. Okay, let's go. Okay, so if you guys don't know yet, I've been to Korea twice. First was a year ago, October 2018. That was fall. I'm here! Where the red trees are, red leaves, red trees. I love them so much. I think fall is my season. It's my favorite. was really cold and the second one was just this April spring it was also cold but not that cold I didn't know that I walked so far <laughs> and now I'm going back to the entrance it's quite far and it's really hot the Sun is so hot but yeah the wind is cold I think this is the perfect weather I don't know <laughs> anyway when you're, you, your eyes are busy looking at beautiful things, you don't actually feel anything. You don't feel tired. You don't feel hungry. And both times I traveled alone. So here are the top 10 important things that you should remember if you're also planning to go to Korea, not specifically alone with your friend or with your family. So the first one is buy a tea money. T-Money is their transportation card. It's like big card in the Philippines. And it's more convenient to travel because you can use it when you ride the bus or the subway. You can also use it when you buy at the convenience store. So the first thing I do when I arrive in Korea is to buy a T-Money and load like 20,000 won or 10,000 won. 20,000 won is like 1,000 pesos and it usually lasts me like five days or four days. It depends on your itinerary. Okay, number two, find the best money changer. So compare. Don't exchange all your money right away. So I compared the rates in Myeongdong, in Hongdae, and I've seen the best rates are in Itaewon that time because Itaewon is like a global city like there are a lot of foreigners there maybe also lots of Filipinos and yeah I had the best rate for um, Philippine peso to Korean one yeah and tip number three is to choose your accommodation wisely so there are I think top three areas that people are choosing from whenever they go to Korea so the first one is Myeongdong I've stayed at Myeongdong on my first time in Korea in two different guest houses and hotels. Myeongdong is a shopping haven. It has all the cosmetic brands and all the clothing brands that you're looking for. But if you're not really into cosmetics or skincare, there's nothing much you can see there. It's not that fun and not that wide option when it comes to eating at restaurants. Well, there are some, but I've observed and people also told me that Myeongdong's prices are quite higher than Hongdae and other areas. The next area will be Hongdae. I've stayed at Hongdae on my second time in Korea and I could say it's the best place. I don't know, but they do have a shopping, they do have restaurants and e-marts everywhere. And the best part for me is the weekend busking. Like, um, youths are gathered, they dance on the street, they also sing on the street and perform on the street. That's really, really fun for me because we don't have that in the Philippines. And the third area is the Jongno, Jongnogo area. One of my friends stayed there. That area is near Gyeongbokgung and the palaces, traditional. Um, houses like Bukchon Hanok Village. 
and I've seen it at night because I ate there once at night. It's quite quiet. Yeah. For me, the best will be home day because I'm not into shopping. I did not go to Korea for shopping that time. I didn't have the money for shopping. Okay, number four, rent a pocket Wi-Fi. The pocket Wi-Fi is a lot cheaper than the SIM card, though you may not use it to call someone, but who's using phone these days? We're all using Messenger, Kakao Talk to communicate. Guys, I've arrived at Incheon Airport, and the first thing that I always do when I arrive is to get my pocket Wi-Fi. I usually book, I always book from Klook, and they will give you this after getting the voucher on your phone and um, asking for a credit card. Um, they will only charge 1,000 won and they will refund it right away just to check if your credit card is working. 1,000 won is like 48 pesos. So this is the kit and my promo is that today or this season they have a promo that uh, that bag comes with the pocket Wi-Fi. This is the pocket Wi-Fi and this shows the battery that's left. Oh no, signal, battery, and power. Also, it comes with a charger and this one. I'm so happy because I was not able to buy an adapter, this one. But I remember that I don't have to buy because um, it comes the package comes with it so there i can charge my phone with this and this is the one that they have for promo this season they are letting us borrow power banks so power banks are like an essential when you are traveling okay, so yeah and Internet is essential so that you can find the places that you're planning to go to, especially if you are alone. Also, make it a habit to plan all the places that you are going to all throughout the day before you go out of your accommodation. What I do is I print screen the map, I print screen how many bus stops will I be passing before I get off. That goes to the next tip, which is transportation. So bus versus subway. Taking the bus is the winner for me because I hate walking. Obviously, I get tired easily. Taking the subway is a lot faster, but it, it requires a lot of walking and climbing the stairs. And the bus requires less walking, so that's it. It's more convenient for me. The bus is 100% more convenient for me. And you know, if you watch Korean dramas, all the romantic scenes are on the bus. So it's, I was so happy riding the buses in Korea and catching them running towards them. It was like a Korean drama fantasy. Don't overshop. I know Korea is a fashion city. It's like everyone is fashionable, but don't be overwhelmed. Once you get your visa or book your tickets, don't go shopping. Just prepare one OOTD for one day and then just go shopping in Korea when you get there. And wear those in your photos because they have the best designs. Their clothes are the best and they're not as expensive. If you usually shop at H&M or Forever 21, Uniqlo, the prices are the same. Yeah. Learn basic Korean. You don't have to be an expert. I have a vlog here where I shared the basic Korean travel Korean phrases that I used like Almayo, how much is this? Um, how will I get to this place? Where is the toilet? So learn the basic ones. They know English but not everyone actually does no English. They do understand a little but they're not comfortable using the language so it's better if you learn a little of it. They find it charming whenever foreigners are using Korean so they might give you a discount or chat with you which is really fun. Okay and next eating out could get expensive. This is true. Like an order of food for one person could like the could be like man one or 10,000 won, 500 pesos or 400 pesos per meal, which is quite expensive for us Filipinos. So you may try your convenience stores, which are 
also good. I mean, the, the food in their convenience stores are also very good. You may try them, but I'm not saying that you should eat there all the time. Of course, try Korean food. And if you could find a travel buddy, share the cost amongst you. There are now Facebook groups of solo travelers going to Korea. So I use that like I used DIY on Facebook and I just posted who's going to be in Korea on these dates because I'll be traveling a lot and then we met up in Korea so I was able to share some cost food cost with that person and then what else okay so since we are talking about food make a list of all the food that you want to try because it could get overwhelming whenever you're watching Korean drama or anything any Korean food it's like wow they're all delicious I wish I could take them all make a list of everything because you could forget them and to be honest some could be really delicious but you'll be surprised because some are not really delicious you know jokbal is like crispy pata but it's braised stewed I thought I will like it but it was too sweet for me same with lemon and the famous beach sea pudding curd chicken that you usually see on mukbang it's not delicious so try it to believe it yeah um, it's not really that it's not delicious I think Filipinos taste buds are different to Korean Korean taste buds because I don't like sweet food I like salty I like spicy but I don't like sweet chicken sweet those things yeah, you know it the last and one of the most important tip is to always always check the weather I know you want to look fashionable I know you want to look sexy when you travel and you take photos but make sure to check the weather because it could get really really cold while you're in the middle of traveling and when I say cold it, it's to the bones it's too cold and you will not survive it you'll get sick before you go back to the Philippines so yeah. so that will be all those are all the tips that I think very important for everyone to know when they are planning their trip to Korea and well that's not actually all I have a lot of things I discovered while traveling in Seoul in Korea but I couldn't share in a very short video so that's it for now and if you have any questions or suggestions or tips that you want to know just leave them in the comment section and I'll be answering them in my next video. Bye!